Okay. Any questions so far? So I hope that that gives enough time to everyone. No? We'll be having our first test on uh, assist for formative assessment on Thursday, August 26. It will start early at 8 o'clock, okay? And we'll end at 8 o'clock in the evening on the 27th, okay? What are the topics tackled of everything, no? On the test, everything on our syl syllabus and the, the intro to, the, to computing part. Let's have that, no? The intro to computing part, no? Starting from the beginning. Okay. To ito na. Before electronic computing, they follow. No? Okay. Okay, I open ko na to dati. Any questions so far? No. Iba ang coverage ng question per attempt. No, the same questions. No. You'll have the same questions. I I'm only giving you three attempts because maybe if you will finish, if you will, you know, you will fail. If your internet, you will have an internet problem during the first attempt in case you get cut off. Okay. Do you follow? Any questions? No. Because the problem with the long quiz, sometimes uh, internet gets cut off. Okay. But you will get your score until only after the third, third attempt. Okay. No scores will be given. No right answers will be given okay. during the first and second attempts. Any questions so far? Okay. Any questions? Okay, so can we do our no, practice test? Everything will be covered now. Have you yes, tried? Yes, sir. Yes. Ano po, sir? Well, I was added to classroom uh, exactly one week ago, sir. So, makaya, sir. From... Uh, uh, did you attend? Who's this, please? Did you attend Sibut? the makeup classes? Wala. Ah, you sent me an email August 10, sir. Tos I emailed back. What's, August, what's your uh, no? What's your family name? Good thing, sir. Because I, I've emailed you... For the no, for the practice yes, sir. step. For the, I, for I, the... I emailed ano sir, that was mga after one week pa ko na add sa makeup classes sa Daigler classroom. Based sa email ko na ako. Pero nag-attend ka ng ano, <laughs> nag-attend ka ng makeup classes. Wala sir. Because I've emailed everyone before the ano, before the makeup class. Even if you're not added, the... but the makeup classes are useful. Let me check my email. Y yung dalawang data science po sir. Nakame si Sargado tsaka ako, sir. Good thing. The email na nagpa, nagpasabi ka na naka, na add na kami sa Daigler namin. Daigler classroom, sir, pero wala pa rin, sir. So, August 16. Oh, sige. Ta, sir. I can only extend so, it until ano, uh, Friday. So, kung gusto nyo, Friday, Saturday. 27, 28. Sige, sir. But I cannot extend it further kasi may lesson na tayo by next week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Noted po, sir. I will email everyone so, that you will have your exam on the 27th and the 28th. Yes, okay. po, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so that, that will be the final schedule, 27 and 28th. Okay. Okay. I, so any questions so far? So, sir, shall we try? Yes. Yes, sir. Huh? Multiple choice lang, di ba? Um, Multiple choice lang lahat, no? but there are problems involved, no? Like programs, no? Have you tr tried the practice test? Yes, sir. Tapos na po. Okay, good. So more or less like that, no? Okay. Our problems will come on the second chunk. Kasi sir, my question na sa, ano, sir? Sa yes. chat. Sa, ano? Sa chat? Friday, no? Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. I will email everyone to this afternoon, okay? Hindi pa ako naka-email kasi I haven't met you yet. So the final schedule will be Friday and Saturday, 27 and 28. 
Sir, pwede pa mag attempt for the reason wanting a higher grade? But you, you cannot get your grade until the last, ano, the last attempt. Okay, how will you know your grade? Okay. The only reason why I'm I want a, I'm given given you're given an extra attempt because sometimes no internet could get cut off. Not for no. Uh, I will set the no, I will set the the scores. No, the scores will be set such that you will only get after the test. Okay. All scores will be available only after the test. Okay, I'll set that later, no? All scores will be available only after the test. Okay, any more questions? Okay. I hope no. It's unfair that you're going to take to get a higher grade, okay? Because I've done this before and then accidents happen during, you know, especially people from, you know, who are from far away where internet is very slow. Yes, I will display only the feedback. The feed, you will get feedback only after the third attempt. Okay. I, say, I, I will configure this no? for you to get feedback only after the third attempt. Okay. Not after each attempt. Any, any other questions? So anyway, let's proceed to our test, no? Practice test. Hi, sir, my question also. sir. Yes. So is it necessary to take all three attempts? No. No. So it, if it, hanggang second ka lang, sir, paano makuha yung score mo? I will publish three everything, no? Now. After the test. Because I will configure it after the schedule of the test, okay? You visit Daigler again. Okay, sige, sige, sir. Okay. You visit the glare te again. Kasi ganito yung pag-configure oh, of the feedback. Let me show you. The feedback result. Asan ba yan, no? It's in the feedback con configuration. In the feedback ito. Uh, where is that? Review options, no? During the attempt, I will off the, no? I will off the marks during the attempt. Later, while the quiz is still open, I'm still going to close this. I'm still going to close the marks. No, so you will not get the you will not get your marks unless the, the quiz is still open. Okay. After the quiz is closed, you can now get your attempt. You can get your you, know, you can get your marks. Uh, weather correct. Okay, I will do that. And then the right answer, I will give that. Everything can be taken only after the quiz is closed. Take note now, after the quiz is closed, and this is later while the quiz is still open, you will get will you will not get the attempt, you will not get the correct answers, you will not get your marks, you will not get your feedback. And the feedback means scores, no? Or marks are scores, no? So uh, you can only get your marks after the quiz is closed. Okay. Questions? Good thing you have, no? Uh, sir, tanong yes. po. Uh, yes. What if parang tinake po yung tatlong attempts tapos ano po yung, ano, yung, yung score na i, ano po, yung latest po? Or yung, your high, your yung I think your highest score. Ah, okay. sige po. So okay. pwede po namin i-take yes. yung tatlong yun. Kami yes, po I, will take, I will take a look at your three answers. Kasi ah, makikita ko naman, I will pick which answer will I will consider. Okay. Sige po. Sige I just po look sir. at your ano na lang. 
Okay, so you will get your ano, your marks after the quiz is closed. Okay, no marks, no ano, no feedback will be given while the quiz is still open. Okay. Pwede ba mag-skip ng number, sir, tapos balikan later? Yes, let's try to do that here, no? Okay. Okay. And then using a second attempt, you can always, ano, try again. Have, have you tried, no? Have you tried, haven't you tried yet an exam on Moodle? I say most of you are from no, no, uh, Google Classroom. So anyway, I'll be online now on my cell phone. Okay. So 20, the final schedule will be 27 and 28. I'll email everyone. Now. Okay. Uh, let me switch my role to uh, no, student first. I have answered this before, no? So I'm going to clear my answer first. My answers. Because like, you can pick a question, no? In here, where to start? Record na ba tayo? Let me check. Yes. Okay, so let's go back now. So you can pick your questions or you want to start now. Although it will be uh, shuffled, no? but you will have the same question number. Okay, so no scores will be displayed while the quiz is still open, okay? So if you want to get your score, you visit the quiz again, okay, after it is closed. Maybe on the 29th, everyone. Now, if you want to get your score, visit the quiz again. You'll get your score there. Okay, namuwag. Is that okay? No. So, di po ba makikita ang score na makuha namin after first attempt? No. All, all feedback, all marks will be taken after the quiz is closed. Okay? If you visit it again, you'll get your score. Okay? We cannot allow the scores and the marks to be presented during the test because it's simultaneous. No? I hope you understand. No? So anyway, given the following IES computer program, what does the command in address zero best describe? It's not a jump to 5R because it's a jump to 4. It's a jump to 4L because it's 0 to 19. Do you follow? If it's 20 to 39, it's jump R 4R. Okay. It does not multiply the accumulator, although 4R does the multiplication. It does not store a value to the accumulator, although there's a store here. Okay. It only jumps to. Very easy, no? Okay. Any questions? What the first concept of globally interconnected computers? Now, it's, it, it's very specific, no? The first concept. It's different when you say the first network, okay? There may be a question asking the first network of globally internet connected computers. Do you follow? No? The first network of concept or, or rather globally internet connected computers is the ARPANET. But the first concept is the galactic network by uh, Lider Lake. No? Uh, it's in our site. No? Okay. From MIT and in connection with the defense department in DARPA. DARPA is the defense, no? It's a, it's, it's a department in the defense office in the United States. 
So the correct answer is galactic network. Okay, it's an, a vision that computers can interchange information like files and data no? through a, go, a global connection. Okay. You follow? Who formulated the stored program concept? It's it's not Bill Gates. No, Paul Allen is the partner of Bill Gates, and Ho Howard Eichen invented the Mark One. No, so it's John Van Neumann. Sometimes it's J O N. Some most of the times it's John. Okay. Jan Van Neumann of uh, Princeton College. Any questions? Now, here's the question. In the INYAC computer design, the inputs of the concepts of input and output registers, or otherwise called by ba ba Charles Babbage, no? calls them ingress and egress, are merged into one. Which of the following is used to name the new component? Anyone? tawag doon sa register because previously iba yung input sa output it's called the accumulator register okay good why because that's very important because until now no, nowadays the accumulator is still present okay in all computers all computers will have accumulators and we call them ac do you follow no even the ibm pc has several accumulators okay, Hi, sir if, excuse me yes, May isa daw akong class, may isa daw kaming classmate sir na na-stuck sa waiting room, hindi siya makapasok sa room. Oh, sorry, sir, wait. I have reconfigured my ano, no? my, wala man ako makita dito in the waiting room. Because I have just renewed my, ano, my license to Zoom. And everyone, I have reconfigured this so nobody should wait in the waiting room. Who's his name? Uh, Pigo, sir, sila. Maverick. Nandito na sila. It came out late, no? Ibuyan Kwan. Ibuyan Kwan, okay? Let me just check again. I'm sorry, I didn't see their names, no? Nahuli na lumabas. Dapat talabas kasi yan dito. It should appear right away. Uh, I have reconfigured this already, but it is still didn't take effect, no? Ibuyan one. Who else was that? Can you check me? Anyo, is Anyo there? Yes. Serbo. Uh, sir Pigo, sir. Pigo pala, okay. Anyone else? Recto. Mukhang okay na yata, no? Sar Sargado. Uh, you just shot me, no? In case you didn't see your name in the attendance. Those in the waiting, waiting room should appear here right away, no? On the top, but it didn't appear. So I'm sorry for that, no? So anyway, let's go back. So it's called the, the accumulator register, no? It was first invented in INYAC. Okay, although INYAC has a lot of controversies, no? There's one sure, no, unique legacy that is found there. Although maraming controversies, no, it's the accumulator. It's called the legacy of Inya, the accumulator. No? Although there's, it's surrounded by a lot of uh, controversies because it was sued later. The, the authors were sued later. No? Which invention of Charles Babbage was first considered the first computer? There are two inventions, no? the analytical engine and the difference engine. Okay, the difference engine is a polynomial calculator. It's not, uh, it's like the ABC computer. So what's the answer here? Anyone? Of course, it's the analytical engine. Every computer IT student should know that, no? very basic. The very first computer is called the analytical engine. Who invent, invented the arithmeter? Huh? Thomas de Colmar. And the step reckoner is Wil Wilhelm von Helmitz of Germany. Is that correct? Huh? It's in our source. Thomas de Colmar is the arithmeter. These are mechanical calculators. The arithmeter can only do addition and subtraction. 
The step right corner can do multiplication and division. Okay, let's look at that. Ito, no? Gottfried, Wilhelm Gottfried von Leibniz. Step right corner. Okay, so it can now do multiplication. Okay. She didn't say, no, but Thomas de Colmar invented the arithmeter in 1820. I'm sorry, but it didn't say addition only, no. Thomas de Colmar invented the, 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 the arithmeter and step reckoner was Wilhelm von Leibniz, Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz. Okay. They will, they will come out some, some time or another. Which of the following is considered to be the first microcomputer? It's Micral N. Now it's in our source. No? Micral N was discovered in, was invented in France. No? Now it's very influential because it led to the discovery or rather the invention of the Apple computer. Now there was a race. No? See who really is the first computer, Micral N or Altair 8800? They came in very close. In just a few months, no? after Micral N was presented, Altair was presented also. So, konting ano lang. A little gap in history. Let's look at that no? before we proceed. No? It's not Apple 1 because Apple 1 is released in 1976. Micral N is earlier. Uh, it's 1973. And Altair 800 is 1974. Konting ano lang. No? They're, just, they're just very close race. Oh, 1959 was the first microcomputer concept no? uh, in IBM. IBM promoted the concept personal computer. In 1964, by the way, before the invention no, of the computer, John Kemeny and Thomas Kurtz invented the programming language, not Visual Basic, but Basic, no? Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. The modern Visual Basic also has still very close resemblance no, to the original basic in 1964. No? 1968, you need Packard no, by the first no, uh, transistor TTL logic. 1970, now uh, 1970, 71, there's an 80, 80, 72, the first microprocessor, no? Intel 8008 was invented. It's in 1973 that Micral N was produced and it was presented in 1986, no, or oh, not late, not to Steve Wozniak and uh, David Burnell, no, Burnell. Okay. See, Steve Wozniak, remember, was one of the founding found, founders of Apple, no. They follow. So, Micral N was the first in 1973, and in 1974, Altair 8800 was invented, no. This was the the PC which already ran basic, okay? Intel 8080 was uh, was manufactured by Intel in 1974, which became the processor for most micro CPUs, no? So Altair 800 is very a very important machine, no? Because aside from that, no, it, it, it was the first to use the product of Microsoft, which is basic, but the first, Microcomputer is considered to be Micral N in 1973 in France. Okay. Ayan, si Micral N. Okay. Let's look at other things now before we proceed. No? Now, in 1974, no? the first operating system. Also, remember, Zilog was also released in 1984, 1974. A little later than Altair. No? But it was the first personal computer with an operating system. The operating system is by Digital Research Inc. It's called CPM for Control Program Monitor. No, 1974 then ito. And 1975, BASIC was first implemented on Altair. No? 1976, Apple released Apple I. 1977, Apple released Apple II. And by 1997, home computers became very popular. No? Usually with a CPM and the basic language that comes along with it. In 1977, the first word processor, no? First word processor, I've used this myself. It's called WordStar. It ran on CPM 80, no? Which means it's it runs on very old Apple computers. It also ran later in DOS and Windows. 
Okay. So CPM and MPM were the operating systems and they became very popular in 1979. Also in 1979, no? BC Calc, the very first spreadsheet on the computer is called BC Calc. Initially for Apple II by BC Corp. BC Corp, I think, is no longer, is already defunct. Okay. Okay. 1979, BC Calc was released for Apple II, but it was later also released for the IBM PC. BC Calc is run, run on the IBM PC under DOS. No? And also in 1979, Steve Jobs paid a visit at Xerox Palo Alto. Remember Alto? Xerox Alto was the first computer with a mouse. Okay, It's not a personal computer, but it's the first computer with a mouse. And Steve Jobs saw the Alto computer and adapted the GUI interface of the Xerox Alto to Apple Lisa. Okay, and Apple Lisa is like the early version of Mac. Okay, and in 1979, the first graphical word processor, Word Perfect, it's still present, no? Being being owned by Corel, was released by Brigham Young University in Utah, no? And Satellite Software International. Word Perfect is a very popular, you no? Know, word processor. It resembles, uh, actually, Word borrowed a lot of resemblance from Word Perfect. No, it's still available. You can, I think, you can download them if you if you like. No, it's a first first word processor where you can embed graphics, pictures, no, and so on and so forth. And it was in 1970, 1981. It's the late part of the fourth. No, 1984. This is no longer under the same generation. 1971, the IBM PC was released with DOS. Okay. 1984, Apple released Mac with a graphical user interface. Okay. You follow? So it's good to know that. You can review that in our site. So given the following analytical engine program, what is the value of the address 001 after line number 8? Number 8 lang naman eh, no? So zero. Store 001, ito yung store 001, it's now 212. And then we say minus L00, L001, and then store 001, which means the result of the minus will be stored in L and in 001, okay? So what is deducted is 212 minus 32, okay? 212 minus 32 is 180. So after line number eight, it's 180. Any questions? No. Okay. So it's just an exercise to follow code. Which of the following is the first among products of Microsoft? Microsoft. Is it MS Office? No. There was no MS Office before. MS Office came in the 1990s, no? In Windows 3.11. Windows 3. Is it MS-DOS? MS-DOS, remember, was first presented in 1981 with the IBM PC. It was first present, the basic programming language was the first no, product sold by Microsoft, which came with the Altair 8800 in 1975. Okay, so Altair siya unang ginamit. Okay, so most Apple computers, 1976, okay, were supplied with basic. I have program basic in Apple, no? Do you follow? Okay, so basic is the first. But basic is not original Microsoft, no? Basic was originally from Dartmouth College during the 1960s, 1964. Okay, by John Kemeny and Thomas Kurtz. It came from a university. Okay, so hindi original ng Microsoft yun, okay? Even Windows is not original from Microsoft. It's from Unix. Okay? Any questions so far? Uh, any questions? Given the following analytical program, what is the value of store 001 after line number 12? Dito tayo. Okay, alam natin it's, it's what? 180 after line 8, right? 180, and then we multiplied it with L002. Okay, L002 is 5. Oh. Do you follow? So 180 
So, 180 times 5 is 900. Because 180 times 10 is 1,800 divided by 2. Okay? Any questions so far? Huh? Given this program from the IAS, what is the value of the accumulator after address 4L? Dito. Well, it just loads M1. M1 is 10, so obviously it's 10. Any questions? Okay, so we finished. No score is given. It's given here, no? By the way, because this is the same different configuration. Ibang kon paka configure nito. Okay. The practice test has been configured differently from the actual test. Okay. So any questions so far? So you study everything. Everything is in our source, no? Nandito naman lang. Everything is in our site. Okay. Any questions so far? So you have time to prepare. Today is Tuesday. You'll have Wednesday, Thursday. And if you'd like to use, you know, the passing score is base 60 tayo, no? So what is the passing score on of you? Kung sa, kung sa 100, the passing is 60. So sa 50, the passing is 30. Okay, everyone? Because we have base 40. Yes. Okay, so you have to answer 30 questions out of 50 in order to pass. Correctly, no? Okay? There will, be, there, there will be 50 questions. You will need to answer 30 in order to pass. Okay? Am I clear? No? Okay? Out of the 50 questions, you should get 30, no? Okay? 30 over 50 is the passing score. Okay. So that's all for now. If you have no if you still have questions, you can email me now. Okay. I'll be around. I'll be online on Friday. You can chat me on Zoom. Okay. Any questions? So, good luck now, everyone. Okay. See you on Friday or hear you from Friday. On Friday. Hear from you on Friday. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye, sir. Thank you, Bye, thanks. Bye-bye.